Okay, so I had a situation where I had to add some custom styling on this gravity form. This site is built with Tribe Architect. And uh, when I added this style, the best place I knew was uh, this. The best way to uh, put custom styling, you know, on a on the fly, uh, the, the best way I know is by going to Appearance, Customize, and additional CSS. You know, this is something that I didn't realize that Tribe Architect is actually uh, adding, or Tribe, Tribe Team Builder in this case, adding extra styling in here, and it is actually writing anytime it uh, loads up. So what I didn't realize that it's gonna overwrite some of my styling. So once it did, I did not find uh, my styles anymore. So what I had to do, after some research, I tried to locate where the, these uh, custom styles go in the database. Because at this point, if I just if I just hit like publish or something, right? At this point, make any change or publish, I know that uh, the database will be overwritten and my styles will be gone, right? So in this case, I found uh, this post in this in the WordPress development. And this is where I was actually looking for where exactly the styles, what table they go in and how to collect them. So, um, you know, this is where all the answers are. But when I actually went into the database, uh, my head started spinning, I could not find it. But I did have this, this function, WP get custom CSS. So I figured if I just uh, somehow able to run this, I might get some of my I mean, actually, all my uh, custom styles back because it's still in the database because the site style is still working. Because if I refresh this, it's still the style stays. That means it is actually collecting it from the database and painting the screen, right? So even though additional CSS here, my you know styles were gone or not showing up but styles are still being held in the database. So what I did, I went to uh, appearance theme editor and found the footer. And under the footer, at the very bottom, I add this piece of code. Just add a little bit of uh, pre in there to under two pre tags. I just called in that function, wp get custom CSS. And then I just refreshed the page and then when I go to the footer I found this exact output this is where all the custom CSS that was in the database which came from Thrive and came from me for example the ones that are from me I could easily recognize because I commented them just like this like this, with my name in it, Moose Gravity Styles, right? So now I know these styles are all mine. So I just, uh, you know, copied this, highlighted this part and copy like that, and pasted in my VS Code in my local system and saved it. That's how I recovered my lost custom CSS from WordPress database. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button and the subscribe button. This will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week. Thanks again.